Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a basic overview of how birds help out in the garden. This is going to become a series of videos. In later videos, I'll be discussing how to attract the birds that are the most beneficial and the ways to deal with the consequences of having a lot of birds in your garden. Stay tuned! One of the most common problems for backyard gardeners like me is having caterpillars and other bugs eating our vegetables. But luckily, there are many bird species that like to eat those same devastating caterpillars and bugs. Bugs such as cabbage worms, tomato hornworms, and bean beetles are all favorite food sources for many common species of birds. Cabbage worms, especially in my garden, do significant damage to my kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage plants. I used to have to spray my vegetables constantly with many different types of insecticides in order to keep them away and keep my vegetables healthy. But after I've learned that birds can help rid my garden of these bugs, the bug populations have been significantly reduced. After I did only a few basic measures to attract the birds to my garden, I haven't seen a single cabbage worm on my kale plants so far this year. I have seen a little bit of damage on the kale plants, but the birds spend much more time in my garden than I do and seem to find the caterpillars when they're still small. Because of this, the costs of my garden have been significantly reduced because I no longer have to buy insecticides to kill the cabbage worms. There are many other solutions besides insecticides to get rid of caterpillars and other bugs in the garden, but many of these, such as floating row covers, don't work as well when it gets warmer and you can keep beneficial pollinators away from the crops that need pollination. Some other methods can make the garden just look messy, such as yellow sticky traps. Even better, most bird species avoid eating bees and butterflies, two main pollinators of our garden. Well, that's all for this video. I hope this video will convince you to start attracting some birds to your garden. Soon, I'll be posting more videos that will be discussing the most common species of birds that you'll see, and the ones that you want to attract, and how to attract them. Thanks for watching!